Hello and welcome to what I hope to be the first of many YouTube Hangout videos. In this, my first YouTube Hangout video, I'm going to be playing uh, Res HD for the uh, Xbox 360, and I'm going to be playing Area 5. Those of you that are familiar with the game um, will know that Area 5 is not opened up until you complete areas one through four. And if you've only played the game and seen areas one through four, and you think you've seen the, the whole game of Res, then you're definitely, you've, uh, you should see this. So area five is about twice as long as the other areas, and it has a completely different style of music. The artist is Adam Freeland, and the track is called Fear. And um, each of the other, uh, songs on the first four areas um, have a distinct pattern to them that the song builds on as you go through. But Area 5 is more of a an evolution. That's, that's kind of the theme. So we're going to run through Area 5. Um, I warmed up a little bit before this video, so I hope I'm not too rusty here. Um, and I'm going to just uh, kind of talk off the top of my head as we go through. All right, so here we go. So the key in res is of course to know the patterns. And it's also to be able to prioritize which pet which uh enemies you need to go after first just by seeing it so many times. Alright, but I didn't want to just talk about res. I wanted this video also to be kind of a, uh, like a version 1.0 uh, just overview of who I am and some of the things and the people uh, in the community that I enjoy and why I'm deciding to be the million and one million and first person to make uh, videos on YouTube. Um, so I've been gaming since right about 1979-1980 as a real little kid. Um, I had an Intellivision as my first system. Uh, we got that in 1980 I believe. And loved it course, got totally hooked on it. Um, my parents bought me games for my birthdays and Christmas and all that kind of stuff. Um, and it was great. And I played with that for a few years. Um, and then the crash happened and I got a Commodore 64 and I thought that I was done with video games. I thought that computers were the future. Um, and I hung on to my C64. Uh, well into the 90s uh, and continue to use it on a regular basis. Uh, but finally, right about the time that Star Fox came out, uh, I had to get the Super Nintendo uh, because it just was so amazing and I had to have it. Uh, but before that, I had been playing a lot of arcade games uh, and borrowing other people's systems. I mean, I've been a gamer my entire life. I have had very little time away from it uh, <laughs> since I was a little kid. And, you know, I went from uh, kind of doing it in shame to some extent. Not shame, but, you know, it wasn't something as I got into my 20s that I was still proud to say I was big into. But then, it has grown into that. It has grown into something now that I'm proud of. And I've got a collection of over 1,500 games or so, probably. Uh, you know, 30 plus systems now. And now, as a, an adult with a wife and kids and the whole deal, now I'm proud to have it as a hobby. And YouTube, for me, is the next step. And, you know, connecting with other people out there that are also proud to be gamers. 
So, uh, back to my history. Uh, um, got the Super Nintendo, and then got the. Uh, uh, oh, this part's cool right here. So, this guy. It's like a decoy. All you need to do is just keep shooting this thing in the middle. It's going to launch all these things at you. You're going to feel like you get hit. But almost all the time, not going to hit you. Until you finally put the finishing. Oh, that one might hit me. Oh, and it went down right there. Uh, yeah, so after the Super Nintendo... Um, Oh, I hung out for the Nintendo 64. I bought into all the hype on that, and um, you know, tried to hang tough with Nintendo for a couple years, not even a year. And finally, I just couldn't stand watching uh, all my friends playing PlayStation games that I wanted to play more than my Nintendo games. So I traded in the uh, N64 for a PS1. Um, and, you know, then moved into Dreamcast, PS2, um, and then started working my way backwards and adding in a lot of older systems that I had always wanted to pick up, like the 3DO and Sega CD and all that kind of stuff. Um, and, yeah, I've been collecting now for probably at least five or six years. And um, I... My pride about my collection is mostly at the fact that I've gotten 99% of it uh, locally and through garage sailing and thrift store shopping and things like that. Um, I have very flexible hours because I work for myself so I can be in the thrift stores when most everyone else is uh, sitting in their offices working. So. There's definitely some advantages to that, and it's led to some great finds that uh, you know I plan to show you. I plan to do a uh, collection video soon. But in addition to that, um, I'm also excited to show you guys. I, in my uh, hunting over the years, I've ran into a few really obscure items. Um, a couple of which I've never seen much of any other coverage of on YouTube, so I've always wanted to show those things off, but um, like I said, I just I want to get involved more with the community because I do really enjoy YouTube, and I should mention I'll throw out some random names of some uh, YouTubers that I really like, um, and I mean, I like a lot of YouTubers, so please don't be offended if I don't mention you, but... Uh, um, just some that pop off the top of my head are uh, Crow, who does his Crow Plays videos, among others, um, and he always entertains me with his commentary on his gameplay videos. Um, Steve Benway, of course, um, always enjoy uh, watching his videos, commenting on his videos, things like that. Uh, Paul Aventris, um, again, when I start work in the morning, his videos are usually the first things waiting for me there. And I know it's gonna usually be some random C64 game that I might have played. Um, and then something else that it could be anything. So, and again, commentary just really cracks me up. Um, always does a really good job. Uh, let's see, Nice and Games. Always really enjoyed his channel from the get-go. Um, uh, you know, Game Chasers. Uh, anyway, yeah, I'm going to come back to that because there's a lot more people I don't want to keep thinking about because I'm just going to end up forgetting names. I'll just randomly Killer. say them if I... Okay, yeah, so let's talk about uh, some of my favorite games. Um, Obviously, Res here is one of them. Um, I can remember when I first found out about this game uh, in an AV website when they were talking about, because I used to be real big into uh, AV, and they talked about how there was no better video game to show off your uh, AV system than Res for the Sega Dreamcast. And so I had to find it after that and played it on my Dreamcast 
and then yeah, eventually got it here for the 360. Um, and yeah, just love this game, love the idea behind it. Um, I don't know if it's nostalgia or um, you know if it's reality, but I, I don't feel another game is necessarily. Uh, there have been other games that have attempted to do the same types of things with music that Res did, but I don't know if any of them have ever surpassed this game, at least in my book. Um, so yeah, Res definitely won. Ah, Freakin' D, there's another name of a YouTuber that I really enjoy. Um, yeah, another game that I, I consider an absolute classic is the original Doom. And, uh, um, that would definitely be in my, you know, top five games uh, of all time for sure. Uh, let's think here. Um, so, uh, definitely, uh, Robotron, the original arcade game Robotron. That is, uh, about as pure of a gaming experience as you can get. Mortal Kombat. I have a uh, Mortal Kombat 3 arcade in my uh, man cave in the garage. Um, and I've got a multi cave in it right now, but. Um, sorry, I lose my train of thought as I'm getting close to the end of the levels here. You don't want to get. I am the. meditating uh, ethereal being here and I don't want to lose that level. Ooh, might get past it. The levels coming up here are like the, the master trials to determine if you are good enough to uh, make it to the ending. And I don't know if I'm going to be good enough to make it to the ending. Get past it. Oh. Oh. Into the bursting beam of energy. <clears throat> All right, let's see here. What else do I want to talk about? Um, let's see. YouTube history, I guess we'll talk about that a little bit. Um, so, yeah, I've been a member of YouTube since about uh, 2000 and... Uh, whatever, whatever it first started. Uh, I became a member shortly after that. And um, I, I heard Steve Benway talking about this recently. When I first heard about YouTube, um, I didn't know exactly what the point was. I didn't really understand. Uh, I didn't understand why um, we needed YouTube because, like he said, I, I was kind of short-sighted about it, and I just thought that yeah, it would be a place for people to uh, post their random home movies and things like that. Um, and I just didn't know why I would be excited to see that. Not going well so far here. Oh, using up all my overdrives on this first level. Hopefully I can get some more here if I can even survive this. Drive, so it's gonna be tough. 
top. Get through here. So the key is, oh, and he's down another level. Um, the key is, you want to complete the game in the state of a baby, which is the ultimate state of floating baby. Um, if you complete the game, let's see here, what does it say? Why? Um, if you complete the game as a baby, you get the good ending. Um, and, and any other form, if you complete the baby, you get the bad ending. Um, and again, the endings aren't really that great either way. Um, but, yeah. I've, I've done it, I've completed it as the baby, I think once or twice. Um, because the game will bail you out a little bit if you know what you're doing. And it'll let you build your level back up. Um, on the very last level sometimes, it'll keep shooting out for those blue things so you can keep building it up, and I think that's all I want. Um, but yeah, that's not going to be happening today. I, I don't think I'm even going to win it all today because it's been a while since I've played this. Uh, let's see, Austin Macker, there's another name of a YouTuber that I've enjoyed. Um, he does some cool gameplay videos. Um, Luke Morse, he's always knowledgeable with his uh, you know, repairs and things like that. I do a lot of system repairs myself, so it's always good to you know, pick up some tips and tricks. Come on, give me some overdrives. Overdrives, no overdrives. <clears throat> um, so I'm going to mention one other thing. Oh, wait, what's to say? Aren't you afraid? No. I'm more afraid of talking on YouTube. Yeah, so I was talking about my YouTube history. Um, I've been wanting to make YouTube videos um, for you know a long time now, uh, just because I enjoy them so much, and you know I, I almost feel like I know some of these people, and I certainly know your tastes, and um, and there, you know a lot of your, your tastes are aligned with mine, obviously. And, uh, you know, it's a one-sided conversation if you're not putting out videos, so you've got to be able to put out videos to, um, you know, to participate in the whole conversation, so I've been wanting to do it come on, come on, come on. Um, for a long time, but I haven't uh, done it, and so this video is a, I, I'm pretty sure I'm going to post this video, I may have to post it without watching it. Because every time I try to make a video, I end up over critiquing it and then it never gets put out. I probably got about 20 videos that are, you know, a third of the way done. Oh, and down another level. Down to the... No, to the Silver Surfer! Come on, I'm still behind. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Okay, now this guy's going to run around. Get one or two each time. And then he's gonna fall on me. And shoot him, shoot him, shoot him, shoot him, shoot him. And he's gone. Oh, nice. Couple of. See, there we go. Now I'm back to the meditating. Ethereal being, and I'm just asked to save me. Right, let's see here. Yeah, so I'm curious to know too how many of you guys are. I know everyone's kind of familiar with this game now, um, but it's not a game that I hear talked about that much anymore, and I'm curious to know if, um, how many of you played through and seen this last level. Um, just because. I remember at the time that someone had clued me in that the last level was really special in this game. Um, and uh, so I was really excited to get to it. But then I still occasionally will see on YouTube videos about this level where people will say that they didn't know it existed. And 
because it doesn't show it when you until you unlock the four, all four of the original levels. Um, all right, so this thing again is pretty repetitive here. You just gotta keep jamming on that thing there. And if you do it fast enough, you can beat all these guys. Is put together. Nice. So yeah, the uh, little satellites that are flying around the edges, if you concentrate on what you're doing here, you don't even have to worry about them because you'll pop this thing out most of the time before anything gets you. But if you're looking to Build up your level. You can hit those guys. That guy floating to the left there. And uh, um, and he'll shoot out a lot of those blue power-ups that would let me get back to the baby state if I was really trying to get the good ending in this, but I'm not. It's really hard to, to get it done right. But Alright, so now she's got half a torso. Here is just focus on one of these, blast that one out continuously, and then it goes pretty quick, and then you just get right down there and start hitting the bottom one. Okay, yeah, so pause it here. You don't want that thing to get all the way to the top, and then these guys start going crazy. But as long as he blows up, Almost there. The sun is rising. I'm not exactly sure what, this, what the game's trying to say. I just love the uh, audio visual the synesthesia of it all. As uh, it's called by uh, artists. Almost there. Oh, that's right. Now it's just down there. And here's where you could really try to build up your level if you wanted to. And I might just use the overdrive here just to get this done. Boom. video is complete. So I hope you enjoyed it and uh, you know I look forward to uh, doing more of these videos uh, as well as collection videos. Um, I've got one other video up showing my um, my garage uh, that's a little bit older now and uh, there's been some changes and additions in there and like I said I've got some uh, interesting things in my collection that uh, um, that I'm looking forward to showing to you guys uh, which is part of the reason that I've been wanting to do this so uh, thanks for watching and uh, talk to you soon